Hello everyone and welcome back to this week's tutorial where we're solely going to be focusing on the T-step move. We're going to be doing this without the hula hoop and with the hula hoop. I'd like to thank you all for your amazing feedback on my Running Man tutorial that I posted last week. It's been amazing and so lovely to see so many of you doing it in your hula hoops. As I previously mentioned in my tutorial last week, there is so much balancing involved in shuffling and you will definitely feel it in doing the T-step move. You will feel the strength that is required in your lower body muscles. But don't worry, as I said, enjoy the wobbles keep drilling that move and you will build up the strength. Now once again I give Vanessa Seco full credit for everything that I am sharing with you because what I have learned is from her so thank you for inspiring me to do this Vanessa. So we're going to start off on one foot and we are going to travel across and we are going to pivot on this foot to enable us to travel across. So you're going to use the heel of your foot and the ball of your foot and we're going to move <laughs> like this. So let me talk it through. You're going to pick up your foot and you are going to pivot using the heel and the ball of your foot to travel across. Now it's really important, even though you're pivoting, you want to remain as close as the ball as possible when you're picking your foot up. So you're going to pivot on the ball of your foot and your heel is going to turn inwards. And then you're going to transfer your weight onto your heel, that she is. <laughs> so we're here. Then you're going to transfer your weight onto your heel, pick it up and pivot on your heel and bring the ball of your foot inwards. We go in, pivot in. So you're transferring the weight. And we want to continue it going across. So it ends up going heel, ball, heel, ball, heel, ball, heel, ball. Now you really need to engage your core and you will really feel it, especially in your lower body muscles. So let me demonstrate it from behind. going to do it on the opposite side it's so important to drill the t-step both sides I'm actually so much stronger doing it on my left side no excuses but this is the leg that I had my surgery on so my right leg will always be a lot weaker than my left leg however I still try and drill it just as much to build up that strength so opposite side are you ready <laughs> It's really hard not to twist and try and lean, but try and refrain from doing so and really engage your core. So you're going to pick the foot up and you're going to go heel, four, heel, four, heel, four, heel, four, heel, four. Now we're going to add in the other foot, so I'm standing on this leg, we're going to add in this foot with a tap. So every time that your heel moves inwards, so you're pivoting on the ball of your foot, so the first one, the foot comes out, okay, so you're tapping, and that is the direction in which you are going, so the foot that taps, that is the direction in which you go, so we are here, and you're going to pick the foot up, and when you do the one, that is when the foot is going to go out and tap, so you're going to pivot, and you're going to one. Then you're going to bring it in on the and. And. Okay? So I touched on this last week with the feet of the running man. So every time that foot is up, that is on the and beat. And every time it's out, it's on the one or the two or the three. And on the ands, and. 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 Okay? Really engage your core with this thing. So let's go slowly. So we're going to pick the foot up. You're going to go one and two and three and four and five. <laughs> So now I'm going to drill it the opposite. 
opposite direction because we have to even everything out. I'm going to pick your leg up and we're going to go one and two and three and four and five. <laughs> do change a bit when you're doing it in a hula hoop obviously because you're maintaining a balance whilst doing the t-step but you're also trying to maintain the balance and keeping the hula hoop connected to you whilst you're doing the move so there will be slight leaning or slight potential twisting but just try and minimalize it so i'm going to share with you how my upper body reacts to when i'm doing it with the hula hoop i'm actually going to show you without the hula hoop first when I'm preparing to take my tap out, I'm standing on the one leg, so when the ball of the foot comes in, words, we're just, we're just here, okay? My upper body is here. Then the moment that I tap out, I transition and I send my arms back even bigger. Okay, this is really key. So you're using your upper body here, and then you push it further back whilst engaging your core. So let me demonstrate. I'm going to play it in slow motion for you to see. Now 
I find it so much easier traveling on my left leg to go that way because my hula hoop is moving in the direction I'm traveling in. Now we're going to do it on the opposite side. However, it's going to be a lot harder because, because my hula hoop is going to the right and I'm actually moving to the left, it's going to be little pulses that I'm going to feel within my hula hoop. So it's the same if you're hula hooping and you turn in your opposite direction, it's going to feel totally different in that way, obviously, to actually go in with your hula hoop. Using your upper body in this is going to be even more so. It is so much harder doing it in the hula hoop and obviously as I said one direction may feel a lot easier than doing it the opposite direction that's even without the hula hoop and then you add the hula hoop in and then as I said determining on the way that your hula hoop goes you'll feel it easier to go in one way for example as I said I find it so much easier traveling on my left foot because the hula hoop is going in the direction that I want it to go in basically and at the moment that I change my legs and go the opposite way, I'm working against the hula hoop. But keep practicing. I know how hard it is, but it's also so much fun. So have some fun and let me know how you get on with it. And please leave your comments below to let me know how you found this tutorial. And if you're on YouTube, please subscribe to me. Thank you.